Hi everyone, this is Serena with Venvi Art Gallery located in Tallahassee. Um, and I'm here to begin our series, Alluring Artists, where I kind of just introduce different artists throughout time. And this first episode is going to be about one of my personal favorite artists, Henry Matisse. So I will begin to share my screen now, a little PowerPoint for you all. Okay. So yes, Henry Matisse um, was a French Fauvist painter. He lived from 1869 to 1954. He's quoted saying, what I dream of is an art of balance, of purity and serenity devoid of troubling or depressing subject matter. He wants, you know, his subjects of choice included nudes, dancers, still lifes, and interior scenes, um, which are pretty traditional things, but he was really revolutionary in his brilliant use of color and exaggerated form to express emotion, um, which you will see, I have many examples that are coming. And he was, um, yeah, born in a small industrial town in Northern France and his family worked in the grain business. Um, but as a young man, he was a legal clerk and then studied um, for a law degree in Paris in the late 1800s, returning to a position in the law office in the town of St. Quentin. He began taking a drawing class in the mornings before he went to work. When he was 21, Matisse began painting while recuperating from an illness. And then his life as an artist began. So this is one of his earlier works in 1905, um, Open Window. I think this one is just so beautiful. He was such a good color theorist. And this is one of my favorites by him because I love the story behind it. So the title, Luxury, Calm and Pleasure is taken from a Baudelaire poem, Invitation to a Voyage, which is about um, a man inviting his lover to travel with him in paradise. Um, but he made this idea or this made this painting and got the idea um, during a trip to the seaside with Signac, who was a very great and famous pointillist painter. And you can see the very clear pointillist influence here. It's not quite, but you can see um, these slabs of color that make up the painting um, is definitely similar to pointillism. And then Matisse will soon be considered part of the group Les Fauves or the Wild Beasts. They were considered madmen for their aggressive and radical use of color. Matisse was also heavily inspired by Cezanne's Three, Painter, Three ba Bathers painting from 1879. He owned it for almost 40 years before donating it to a museum in Paris in 1936. He's quoted saying, in the 37 years I have owned this canvas, I have come to know it quite well, though not entirely, I hope. It has sustained me morally in the critical moments of my venture as an artist, and I have faith drawn, and I have drawn from it my faith and my perseverance. For this reason, allow me to request that it may be placed so that request that it may be placed so that it may be seen to its best advantage. And, you know, he went on to make his own Three Bathers painting. Um, and I love his version too. I have to Google it. I don't have it in the slide, but yes, this is Cezanne's. And you can clearly see the influence here, the same like slabs of paint in the wooded area behind these women. from his last painting. And just like the leisure, I mean, these scenes of people just chilling, hanging out, having a good time. I love that common theme. This is his very famous goldfish painting from 1911. Just the colors, this, this one's so fun. And then another very fun one. 
I love his very like simple line drawn faces on these women in the open music book. I love that and the patterned um, background, which is also interesting. Yeah, this is gonna be similar to his cutouts um, that he does later in life. So his same style, but this is a painting and you'll see later in the slides that he does this in cutout version later. So yes, he was diagnosed with abdominal cancer in 1941 and he went, he undergo, underwent surgery, um, which left him chair and bed bound. Painting and sculpture had become physical challenges. So he turned to a new type of medium. With the help of his assistants, he began creating cut paper collages. He would cut sheets of paper pre-painted with gouache by his assistants into shapes of varying colors and sizes and arrange them to form lively compositions. Initially, these pieces were modest in size, but eventually transformed into huge murals. The result is a distinct and dimensional complexity, an art form that was not quite painting, but not quite sculpture. And these are some examples that I found online, this middle one um, being very, very famous. I personally am lucky enough to have seen his snail cut out in the Tate Modern in London. That was really cool. Uh, interesting fact, many of his artworks were seized by the Nazis or looted from Jewish collectors or changed hands in forced sales during World War II. And just some fun um, pictures where you get to see the artists at work. And it's also just very admirable and beautiful and you know that he, even after being diagnosed and being so sick with cancer, continued to make art however he could until he passed. And that's just so commendable. He was, yes, a very remarkable artist. And I hope you all learned um, some new things about Matisse um, that you can share with others. So thanks for tuning in and let us know if you have any suggestions for artists that we should cover in later episodes. Thank you, bye.